oh my god don't worry guys that's just me in the morning it's not a scary monster on your screen i promise that is actually terrifying okay let's actually get into my morning i am going to wash my face with my prescription face wash because your girl got diagnosed with rosacea and acne and so my dermatologist and i are working on the best sort of things to get my face in the right order okay now this is not prescribed but this was suggested to me by my doctor it is a very clean and simple <laughs> get it face moisturizer with spf in it which girl wear your spf every day i accidentally put on way too freaking much but that's fine i'll just put some on my hands I really don't know why I felt the need to share this with you guys, but I use Flonase every single morning um, during the spring and summertime because your girl gets really, really bad seasonal allergies. So yeah, that's super sexy. Snort that Flonase up your nose, girl. Snort it. I think we're all aware that I am a total hot mess and I always fucking need dry shampoo every single day because I'm a hot mess and my hair is always greasy no matter how much I wash it. It's most likely because it's super fucking damaged from all the color, but you know, that's life. This is the dry shampoo I use. Don't know why I had to include this, but here you go. Okay, so we just got done shopping at Target. Was it so much fun, babe? Was it everything you ever wished for? Austin hates grocery shopping, especially with me, because I'm like, oh, let's go this way, let's go this way, let's go over here, let's go over there. Right, babe? And I spend a million hours at the grocery store. I like to look at things, okay? Anyways, we are getting some lunch, obviously. Let's talk about what did you get, babe? Can't like see, but like what kind? I think a barbecue one. And it had, uh, did you see the name of the barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Austin's barbecue sauce. Okay, so we went to this place called Diaz Quesadilla. We've been trying to support like local small businesses and I'm pretty sure that this is a local business. I could be totally wrong, but called Diaz Quesadilla. I think it's only in Texas, but I could be totally wrong. And I got a steak salad with corn salsa and like jalapeno ranch. It looks really good and the steak. I already tried it, it was really bomb. And we got some queso too. Do you like the chips and queso? I haven't tried it yet. Also, I bought coconut water at Target. What do you think about me buying coconut water at Target, babe? I didn't like it. I fucking hate it, it's so bad. It literally tastes like if someone blended up a banana peel and then put some water in it. It's so gross. But Austin got one, this one. It's like strawberry banana. He says it's good. Oh, did I just drop that? Sorry. Okay, we're gonna eat now. Does anybody else feel like a Kardashian when they do this? Let me try to set you somewhere. <laughs> I feel like such a Kardashian. They're, they're like, 
there's these compilations on YouTube of the Kardashians shaking their salads because they do it all the time. They're like, yeah, yeah. Not making fun of, I love the Kardashians, obsessed with them. but whatever okay guys we're trying strawberry frosted donut oil. are you mad because i'm making you wait yeah okay i've got to get one here ready mm. that's pretty freaking good like Sorry about this angle. it literally tastes like a strawberry donut which fun fact strawberry donuts are my favorite What is the? Supposed to be like the donut, how like oh. the donut's like tan and then it has the frosting. It's really good. It's the sweetest Oreo I've ever had in my life though. I definitely could not eat like more than two. Mm -hmm. Don't mind my disgusting room and unmade bed but I just wanted to clarify the reason that we were putting that stuff in the carpet of my trunk is because um I don't really necessarily know exactly how it happened but my mom borrowed our car and she went and, like got groceries and then she ran like other errands while she had her groceries sitting in my trunk and she had some fish in there and it was a hot day in Texas and it started to defrost in my trunk and it smells like dead fish it's so so gross so i got that from the dollar store i believe on like thursday um it's like carpet deodorizer um because i have tried literally everything um i guess the one thing that my products cannot do is remove really really pungent fish smell out of carpet i do just fine if it's just like in my house carpet like you know feet smell in your carpet great amazing but um my car is in the heat most of the time and so it just like gets stronger and stronger so that's why we had to resort to trying other things so yeah, that's what that was. I just wanted to explain that to you. Not an Cause I'll be with you all On all the charm Put my glass and choke us a paper Perfect, perfect Take off your shoes and step in the bed Awesome, what are you having? A little protein pack from Aldi, we love those. A little egg dough, not chip on. Oh my god, you're so weird.
We just got back from honey and pop pops or austin fan's house we had dinner over there we had tacos it was lovely now i'm doing laundry i feel like that's literally all i do with my life it is laundry and make snacks for my toddler so that's what i'm doing real quick then if you know me you know i have had like chronic back pain for literally forever and after pregnancy it just got like worse and worse so pregnancy and delivery really but it just got um worse so some days it's really like i can get through it real well today is not one of those days i'm having a hard time doing just about anything so that's why i'm mid switching laundry to the dryer because my back is killing me so what i'm gonna do this is what i usually do for um my back is i am going to go take a bath and i'm going to use my hippie salt my renew hippie salt renews your muscles and it helps me so 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 much so i can like get my back well enough to be able to go to sleep it's great so I'll show you guys that in a minute after I'm done doing this. Real quick, before I get to take my bath, I've got to clean up from our photo sesh that we had earlier. I will insert a couple of pictures here. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, I wanna share something with you guys, but Sorry, I'm wearing my blue light glasses so you can like see everything um, from my phone. It's trying to block out the blue light, so I'm trying to, I'm doing it in a weird angle so you guys can actually uh, see. But I want to share something with you guys, and it's kind of like diet related. I don't even want to say that because I do not believe in the diet culture. I think it's all fucked up. I think it's all bullshit. I was like 11 years old when I started my first diet. Um, so I don't agree with any of that BS. I try to eat intentionally and I try to eat in a calorie deficit because um, that is truly the only way that you're going to like lose fat is if you're eating less than you burn and that's just science. That's not diet culture or dieting. Um, and I try to watch what I eat. I don't necessarily try to lose a whole bunch of weight or look a certain way. I just try to watch what I eat and go to the gym and try to live a long life. But I wish that someone would have showed these things to me, these little locale things, because I am a sweet tooth and a sucker for soda. And I'm not saying it's great, I'm not saying it's good for you, and I'm not saying that these alternatives are great or good for you. I'm just saying there's an option and there are alternatives, okay? So, this, I love. I get these at the dollar store. I buy them in, like, six packs. Sugar-free, coconut, chocolate. They have a caramel one. I don't like the caramel one, but I like the coconut. Sugar-free, Russell Stover also has, like, a whole entire sugar-free section at Walmart, but these I get at the dollar store. And um, they are made with stevia extract. And for three of the pieces, it's 160 calories. And I eat one and I'm like, my sweet tooth is like fixed. So, but go for it if you wanna eat all three. This also, Dr. Pepper uh, Zero Sugar. Mine's empty because I poured it into a glass. I don't like the cream soda one. This is what I have. Um, my husband likes the cream soda one. I don't really like it. It's just really, really sweet in my opinion. But this is amazing, zero calories. Love it. Not saying be on a diet or that you need to be on a diet or that you should look a certain way or eat a certain thing. You live your best life. Just if you're looking for some locale alternatives, these are some good ones. Okay. All right. My bath is ready. As you can see, I freaking love my refresh. I am almost out of it. Um, 
that is St. Patrick's Day glitter. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the Renew. This is the one that we have for muscle aches and um, you know, kind of like pains and stuff like that. If you're someone that goes to the gym like me and you like to take a recovery bath, this is amazing. Or if you're someone who deals with back pain like I do, um, I have chronic back pain and I deal with pain from my scoliosis and my failed epidural when I had my daughter. So this is really freaking helpful. This has um, peppermint, Himalayan pink salt, all of these amazing things that are really good for um, inflammation, pain relief. It's amazing. So let me show you what I do. I'm gonna set my, my camera down. Open the lid. Oh, and I just spilled a bunch. Cool, cool, cool. Just spilled all that out on the floor. Love that. I just do a little splash like that. You can do more if you want. I literally just use like a little splash. Um, so yeah, and that's what it looks like in the bath. It's amazing, super, super helpful. Like I said, you could totally use more, but I like to make mine last for as long as I possibly can because I love it. And I just made this batch today. So there we go. And I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby tonight. Let me clarify. I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby because my back isn't gonna hurt as bad. Our Refresh Hippie Salt is what works for putting you to sleep, okay? Got some face mask on my lip, um, but I was just going to let you guys know that I'm going to end the vlog. I am laying in bed, and I'm going to eat my chocolate. Well, I took my bath also. <laughs> Forgot to say that. I took my bath. My back is feeling... 20 times better girl like seriously that peppermint leaves and everything oh, it's just so relaxing it helps my muscles so much and I'm able to actually go to sleep because my back doesn't hurt so I'm really excited about that <laughs> because I am tired but yeah I'm going to eat my chocolate drink my drink my sugar-free Dr. Pepper and some water and watch Good Trouble, which I highly recommend if you need a show to binge. Good Trouble on Hulu, it's like the, this blue lip is tripping me out. It's the like runoff of, what is it? The Fosters, sorry. <gasps> Losing my noggin, but yeah, it's the runoff of The Fosters. So it's the two like main girls Callie and Mariana but um everybody else just kind of like guest stars everybody else from the Fosters just kind of guest stars like their moms were just recently on here and their brother was just recently on here and um it's really good so I, su I highly suggest it if you're wondering where Austin is I'll show you the vlog wants to know what you're doing Austin's playing. Playing Ratchet and Clank. You're playing what? Ratchet and Clank. Interesting. An oldie. An oldie. Yeah, so tell the vlog that we like to do this probably like three or four nights a week that we like kind of separate and do I don't our think own. We do it that much. How much do you think? Two nights a week? More on the weekend. True. I, I agree with that. We do like actually, I think I accidentally skipped out when you were saying that. During the week, we almost always like watch a movie together. But sometimes even during the week, we'll watch a movie and then separate and like go watch our own shows or I'll go watch TikTok and you'll come play. Yeah. Saves a marriage y'all. Having your own alone time and having your own hobbies. I was at a virtual wedding shower a couple of days ago. Okay, you don't have to be in this anymore. Love you, babe. <laughs> uh, I was at a virtual wedding shower a couple of, like, last week, last weekend. And one of the things, like, games that we played was everybody going around and giving, like, marital advice. And I said, um, you know, like, don't, don't worry about the small details of your wedding, which is great advice. Because you're like the bride and you're really the only one who's going to notice. Everybody else is going to be just like enjoying the wedding. <sighs> I'm looking like a total smurf. 
and my face is getting crunchy that was my tmj y'all um but another thing i would totally totally recommend for any young couple that's either about to get married or is thinking about getting married you have to have your own hobbies you have to sorry i'm so shaky guys i'm really tired um you have to have your own hobbies you have to have your alone time you have to have your own things that you do on your own it's so 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 important because when you get married you kind of become each other if that makes any sense like you become one person and it is so so hard to live like that every single day all the time to live like you're intertwined wholeheartedly physically emotionally mentally with another person you've got to have your me time the things that you like to do your alone time it's so 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 important so if you're about to get married or you're thinking about getting married remember to oh it's austin's game i th i thought i heard gunshots but it's austin's game um yeah so so important there's your life tip for the evening okay i'm going to watch my show now love you guys see you later that's not my that's not my outro thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye